The Standards of Learning 4.8 The student will investigate and understand the relationships among Earth, the Moon, and the Sun. Key concepts include the causes for the phases of the Moon. The essential questions that I want you to ask yourself throughout this short video are why is learning about the moon phases important for humans and werewolves? How is Earth affected by the moon phases? And how might we investigate the length of time it takes for the moon to orbit Earth? Each phase of the moon is caused by the relative position to Earth and the Sun. These phases also cause changes in the tides, and the changes in tide are because of gravity. Throughout the month-long cycle of the moon phase, only one side is visible to us. How do we know the moon phases take a month to complete? Well, by keeping a journal. The first phase is the new moon. In this phase, we do not see the face of the moon. Next is the waxing crescent. We can see some of the right side of the moon. Next is the first quarter, which we used to call a half moon. But remember, we are only seeing half of half of the moon. After the first quarter, is the waxing gibbous phase. Here we see about three quarters of the face of the moon. About halfway through the cycle, we see the full moon. Keeping track of the phases helps us determine the tides, spring and neap. This is also good for werewolves to know so they can know when they shift. After the full moon comes the waning gibbous. Now we can see more of the left side of the moon. Then we have the last quarter, and we can see the left half of the face of the moon. And finally, the last phase is the waning crescent, and the cycle begins again with the new moon. Can you believe that something so small has such a big effect on the Earth? Also, remember, werewolves are not real. <laughs>